Lemuroid is an exceptional open source emulator for Android devices that brings retro gaming to your fingertips without the steep learning curve. In this setup guide, I'm going to take you through the installation and configuration steps to have you playing your favourite retro games in no time on your Android device. The first step is to install Lemuroid. So what we're going to do is go to the Google Play Store and search for Lemuroid and then tap install and download and install the app. So before you can use Lemuroid, you'll need some game ROMs. Itch.io have an excellent collection of free retro homebrew games that are designed to be played on original hardware, so they're perfect for emulators too. Obviously, if you want to use any original console ROMs, you'll just need to get hold of these yourself. So if you don't have any ROMs available, grab a couple from itch.io so you can follow the guide. So first of all, open Lemuroid on your device. The first screen you'll see asks you to select your ROMs directory, so you need to tap Select Directory. You may be prompted to allow Lemuroid to access storage on your device. If it does this, this is okay to do. You will now need to navigate to where you have your game ROMs saved. Once you've found the folder where your ROMs are stored, tap Select. Your games will now be imported. You'll also notice at the same time that if it's able to do so, Lemuroid will also import game box art. Something worth noting at this stage is that you can set games as favourites. To do this, simply hold your finger on the game you wish to save as a favourite, then a menu will appear where you can select Add to Favourites. One thing to note at this stage when importing games, if you do find that your games are not importing, then ensure your game ROM files are not stored in archive files such as .zip, .rar, 7z, that kind of thing, as sometimes this can cause issues. So next, a quick overview on how to navigate around Lemuroid. You'll see that Lemuroid has five icons at the bar at the bottom of the app. The Home button, this returns you to your game library. Favourites, any games saved as favourites are listed here. Search, enables you to search for any game in your library. Systems, this lists your emulated systems, for example, Sega Master System, SNES, etc. And Settings, accesses the Lemuroid settings section. So now we've imported some games, how do you play games on Lemuroid? Step one is to choose a game. Now that your games have been imported, you can simply tap the game you wish to play and the game will launch. But what about controls? By default, without a Bluetooth controller connected to your device, Lemuroid will automatically display touchscreen controls. If you wish to use a Bluetooth controller, then ensure you have this connected to your Android device prior to booting Lemuroid, and it should automatically be picked up to use. If you need to remap your controller buttons, you can do this by accessing the Settings menu along the bottom bar, then selecting External Devices where buttons can be remapped for connected controllers. One of the great features of Lemuroid includes save states, which allow you to save and instantly recall your position in a game. Access the in-game menu by holding the menu icon. This is the button with the three horizontal lines. Here you will see the game menu appear, and also save and load options. To save your game state, select save and then select the save game slot. To recall a save state, simply select load, and then select the save slot you wish to load back up again. Now to take a look at Lemuroid settings. So Lemuroid has a decent amount of options available to enhance your experience, but it balances complexity with accessibility by not providing an overwhelming amount of options to the user. There are two main places to configure Lemuroid and emulator settings. The main Lemuroid settings screen which allows you to configure the following settings. So we've got the settings overall, setting your ROM directory and rescanning for new games, safe state and auto save settings, HD mode settings, display filters, input settings, cloud save settings, default emulator core settings, BIOS files and advanced settings. The second set of settings are found when you are playing a game. These are specifically the emulation core settings and can be accessed by holding the menu button in the game. Again, this is the button on screen with the three horizontal lines. Emulator core settings typically include things such as filter effects, graphical improvements and controller settings specific to the emulator core you're using. And that's all you need to know to get up and running. Lemuroid is one of the most accessible emulator apps on Android and it's one of my go-to retro gaming apps whenever I fancy a quick bit of retro gaming. I love Lemuroid, it's the perfect alternative for anybody who finds RetroArch a little intimidating and would rather just simply press a couple of buttons and you're ready to play. And Lemuroid does just that, and it offers a surprisingly comprehensive amount of emulation cores. Just check out the list of all the cores on screen at the moment that Lemuroid offers. Certainly enough to keep you busy for many months. Thanks for checking out this Lemuroid guide. If you found it useful and want to keep up with more guides from How to Retro, then subscribe to the channel and even give it a like if you feel generous. Thanks again and see you soon.